Hi, <clears throat> I am Rhea Refresher, and I am inspired to make this video after watching Tim Pool's response to Gary Lamb's video to him about his feelings about Trump and, and how Tim chooses to see Trump. So I'm going to share with you how I feel about Trump. Um, but first of all, Gary, just in case you see this, I'm really proud of you, man. Props to you. Uh, you're fighting the good fight, and that's because, I, I say that because you are choosing to be the best version of yourself. That's the fight that we all have with ourselves. Uh, and it's not, a, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not <laughs> as much work internal work as I've done on myself, I still have my own inner demons that I'm dealing with. So kudos to you and Tim, in case you see this. I appreciate the work you do. I appreciate your middle of the road uh, stance, as it were. Um, <clears throat> I myself do my best not to take sides. Uh, I don't subscribe to any of the labels that get thrown around, like left, right, democratic, um, republican, <laughs> any of that. <laughs> um, sometimes my ears have a hard time keeping up with your mouth. <laughs> you sound like you're on a, uh, a caffeine buzz most of the time. But I do, I do enjoy the work you do. That said, I... Uh, I have always despised politics, and mostly that's because, well, one, as a younger person, you know, 34 years ago, I didn't understand politics. I didn't care to understand politics, and I've probably learned more in the last three years about politics than I have in my entire life. So, uh, well, let me, let me make my point here. I, I despise politics because mostly of all the bashing uh, that goes on between candidates. Um, I, I think it's um, just very sad how politicians try to build themselves up by bashing somebody else. Because in my book, what you say about other people says more about you than what you're saying about other people. So, uh, back when Donald Trump gave his speech and he said he was going to drain the swamp, um, I said, okay. I, I, I was actually pretty shocked that he was going to run at all. Uh, I haven't really followed the Donald, and that's my favorite nickname for him, um, I just never followed him. I, I, I never watched his uh, reality show, The Apprentice. <clears throat> I might have caught, you know, little glimpses here and there and channel surfing, but, uh, um, but since, you know, since he ran and he said what he did, I said, okay, well, let's see. Um, I put myself on the fence. And I said, you know, let's see what he does, because I know what he's talking about when he mentions the swamp. I'm one of those uh, conspiracy theorists, if you will, um, because I have had the time to do a lot of research on all of these so-called theories, which they're not theories, and they're all connected. And we will soon see how they're all connected, because as far as I'm concerned, Donald Trump is the absolute best president we've ever had. And I say that emphatically because he is following through with what he said he's going to do. He's doing it. And uh, I won't cite particular videos here, but there are several videos out there that people have compiled of all the... the um, things that he's done throughout his uh, adult life before he became president to support the everyday person, the acts of kindness that he's done 
the fact that he was the only one to come forward with Jeffrey, excuse me, with information about Jeffrey Epstein when the FBI first started digging into his, uh, his past. Um, you know, there, there's multiple instances that you can cite um, to Donald Trump's true character, which the mainstream media has done a, a good job of smearing him because so many people have bought into the BS. They brought the propaganda, and I live with two of those people. And I laugh because I love these guys. I love the people I live with. But we're adults, and we agree to disagree. So um, <clears throat> I, I will also make some comments about Q. Um, I was also on the fence about Q. I didn't discover t Q um, until after Q had been online for it's about a year. And I did my due diligence. I read all the key posts myself. And I did so in looking for evidence of uh, just potential. You know, I really wanted to know what was there. I wanted to know for myself what was being put out there to determine if what was being put out there was uh, inciting violence or anything like that. Uh, and I found nothing. So the mainstream media, unless they actually cite particular posts about what they're talking about, they don't know shit. <laughs> they're, they're smearing QAnon because Q has become such a big deal. And I am a firm believer, and I was on the fence about this too, that JFK Jr. did indeed fake his death to expose the corruption and the killers of his father and he's taking down the government he and Trump together because they're buddies. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, it's happening, it's really happening and I am so excited about this. I have no doubt, zero doubt at all that even though we will undoubtedly go through some more chaos, that in the end, it's all going to be good. Everyone's going to be really happy with the outcome. And, uh, you know, I've done a lot of research in many different subjects, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind also after watching videos on Dan Barish, um, interviewed by Carrie Cassidy, and also Bill Wood, a.k.a. Bill Brockbader, his own videos. Go check them out on Suzy Who See, her YouTube um, handle. That he undoubtedly was invited to join Q, even though he never mentions the letter, that letter of the alphabet. Um, uh, he, in my opinion, undoubtedly was invited to join uh, the, the team, if you will, um, and these videos were made when he disappeared himself. So it's, it's a big ball of wax, people, um, and I don't expect you to believe me, but <laughs> that's like a theme in my life. Nobody ever listens to me. Nobody wants to think that Rio knows anything, and that's okay. You're all, you go do your own research. Find out for yourself, because that's the only way that you are going to find the truth and believe it. So, Donald, my blessings to you. Uh, I would add one more thing. I think it's very important, Donald, that you stop bashing Joe Biden and the left, the Dems, whatever. Um, you need to hold more compassion for these people. And I say that because uh, just as they have duped a good portion of our population over the years, they were also duped. And we won't get into who did that right now. That's a whole nother ball of wax. But I think you know what I'm talking about. 
So, uh, yeah, we are going to need to pull out our compassionate selves, as Bill Brock Brader says, to get through this. Um, justice will be served. And, um, you know, that's, I guess, where I have to leave it there so that I don't get into too many more details. All right. Blessings to all of you. I wish you the best on your journey. And aloha.